hello and uh, welcome along. Thanks for tuning in. For those of you who are already subscribers, welcome and thanks for coming back again. And those of you who are not subscribers, I suggest you hit the subscribe button and you can learn how to tie flies the easy way. Did you know, in fact, that um, fly tying is a very technical and um, complicated art? You need to be particularly gifted and talented in order to be um, a good fly tyer. None of that is true, you know. There is a certain element within the fly fishing, fly tying community who would have you believe that you need to be particularly gifted or talented in order to be a good fly tyer. That's absolutely not true. Fly tying is a very simple, very easy to learn process. And how can I put it to you? Anyone who can tie their shoelaces literally can learn how to tie flies in virtually no time at all. In this little video series, I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy it actually is. So, you can learn how to tie flies that will work for you in any given situation. Your flies will be as good as any of the famous fly tires in terms of their working ability, their fish catching abilities. So, in this series, I will be demonstrating how simple it actually is to tie flies. The skills needed to tie flies can be learnt in a couple of hours and a little practice thereafter and you'll be an accomplished fly tire in no time at all. So first of all I'm going to be demonstrating and showing you the tools that are necessary to tie flies. The very basic materials required and as to start that off, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a few of the tools that are necessary in order to tie flies. Now, what I have here is a fly tying vise. This can be bought on the internet for less than 50 euro. Probably around 40 British pounds or I think around 50 US dollars. It's a simple grab and let go vise. Basically, you press this handle. The jaw is open and I've got a hook here. Basically as you pull that lever, the jaw is open. Put your hook between the jaws, let go of the handle and there it is. Simple as that. Now, I've this is my second one of these and I've been tying flies for over 40 years. The first one wore out about two years ago. So I used it continuously for 35 plus years. $50, 50 euro. Now there are fly tying vices out there that cost hundreds. Some of them even cost thousands. I don't see the sense in it personally because this will accomplish exactly the same thing. A vice, all it does is hold the hook so that you can tie the materials onto it. So my advice to anybody is to use a vice like this and save themselves some money. Besides the vice, two pairs of scissors. I use one for cutting threads, feathers, delicate materials. And then I have another for cutting wire and stuff like that, the harder materials. Reason being, if you use one scissors for both processes, you'll wear it out and it'll only cut wire and will no longer cut thread and feathers. So have one for thread and feathers and your delicate materials and another one for your cutting your wire and tinsels, etc. The harder materials. You can buy scissors again. I think these cost about 10 euro each, around about that. You can buy them a lot cheaper on the internet also. You don't need to have... A scissors you can buy in your pound shop or dollar store as you call them in the US will work perfectly well. This here is a bobbin holder. <coughs> Basically all it does is it holds a reel of thread. Makes it handy to use. <coughs> a hackle pliers. Now a hackle pliers, they come in many guises. This is just one of them. Basically all it does is it just holds a feather so that you can wrap it around the hook. They come in many guises, that's just one of them. Uh, there's another here. Basically you just 
squeeze it. Again, the jaws open, and when you release it, it grips the feather. There, the very basic tools that you need. A needle of some kind. This is for um, maybe unlocking the eye of a hook or to just um, manipulate some small part of the fly. Just a little needle like that. Any kind of needle will do. This is made for the purpose, but any kind of needle will do. So there are the basic tools that are required. Once you have those tools, then in the next video, I will show you the materials needed. The amount of materials needed to tie flies can be kept to a very basic level and won't cost very much. I suppose uh, anyone that's into any hobby such as fishing or hunting or whatever you're into, you have a, but we all have a tendency to have, uh, to suffer from gas, gear acquisition syndrome. I have a lot of stuff here for fly tying um, I, that I've gathered up over the years. Not all of it is necessary. You can just have some very basic materials and your know, basic tools and you'll be able to tie flies that will work. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching and good thing on Kia Dorella Slonga